it's been a really hard week. Hard last couple days. And yeah, I haven't wanted to record videos when I'm not feeling good. So it's like I don't have the energy for that. But there's something about it that feels cathartic too. To like talk about your experience. So I thought I would try. Um, yeah, because I've been in this place where just everything feels hard and everything feels overwhelming and, and difficult. E even little things seem difficult. Like really little things like standing up or like, I don't know, I'm making tea and I spill a little tea on the counter and then it's like the idea of picking up a cloth and wiping that up is just so, so hard and like it's, and doing bigger things like leaving the house feel practically incomprehensible or talking to people going out and doing things and there were a couple days there I just couldn't I couldn't get out the door and I canceled things that I was supposed to go to um, and yesterday I got out the door um, I purposefully left quite a bit early the give myself lots of breathing room um, and amazingly was able to do that I was out in the world going look at all of this stuff that's going on like how do people do this you're just going around doing shit all the time uh, uh, as it's like when you're going around doing shit like it's just normal but when you're not when you're in a space like that it just feels incomprehensible that that anybody could have that much energy to do all the things that everybody does um I don't know that on other days I'm I'm out there doing it and I'm feeling great it's just like I find that really exhausting the the difference between where I am when on one day and another day so like I can't count on it my energy is so variable and and it feels so different to be to like have a bunch of energy and be doing stuff and 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 then to not and it's like if I didn't have anything I needed to do it wouldn't be a problem but we set up our lives in these ways where we have this structure and it's like this is how my life is this is what I do you know and you have your schedule for the week and every week you go and do the same things that doesn't work for me I feel weird saying that because it's just ha it's just assumed that's what everyone does that's what you do you just decide what you're going to do and you do it and that doesn't I'm just I'm not that reliable I'm like we talk about reliable as like a character trait like a positive attribute oh they're a very reliable person but like I, I don't not as a character trait I I can't rely on my capacity like I can't rely on my own ability to do a given thing on a given day or at a given time like I can't rely on myself and that feels scary and then that means that other people can't rely on me for, for other things and that's 
And I feel bad about that. I felt really guilty the last couple days for not showing up to the things that I was supposed to show up to. And I was supposed to show up to them because you've made that commitment and you've said, I'm going to be here at a certain time and do this thing. And then when you don't, other, you let other people down. And I feel really bad about that. And I also was aware that I couldn't do it. And I'm getting better at being aware of that and not pushing myself through things that are going to like really be a problem for me. It's like, I don't know, this week I felt like I couldn't push myself through it. Like that wasn't an option. But most of the time I will. And it takes a lot out of me. And it's very different to go and do a thing that you're capable of doing and it like takes a certain amount of energy to do the thing versus to go and do a thing that takes a certain amount of energy and you have to push yourself beyond what your actual capacity is at that time. And that takes like an exponentially larger amount of energy out of you. So it's kind of a vicious cycle when if you have, say, chronically low energy and starting to accept that they might have what we call chronic fatigue. Uh, like if if you have that issue, it can become a really vicious downward spiral where you're constantly pushing yourself to do things that perhaps other people find normal, or maybe they don't, and they're also pushing themselves through the things. Uh, and so everything that you do takes about four times as much energy as it's supposed to take. It's supposed to take, I don't know, as, the, as, ju as just the action itself would take. And it's like, it takes physical energy to move my arm, but sometimes it takes a lot of mental energy. And sometimes it doesn't take any, and I'm like, wee. If you're constantly doing things that are also really taxing your like ability to push yourself to do them, then you're just going to exhaust yourself further and you're going to have less energy to do the things. You're going to have to keep pushing. And it's, it's like, whew. and I've been here many times at this point. I have been in this place enough times I recognize it. And so like I said, I'm getting better at going, ah, uh, I can't, I can't push, I can't do this. This isn't gonna, this isn't gonna fly. So I have been taking care of myself. And that feels good. And it's really hard. And it's not what the world expects of you. To put other things aside and take care of yourself. But that's what I'm prioritizing right now. It's what I need to prioritize. And I'm going to continue to. My birthday's coming up. I'm gonna say exactly when, but it's gonna happen. It's uh, sort of like a one built-in societal excuse to prioritize yourself. Um, and I don't want to be a wreck on my birthday. You know. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna take things slow, one thing at a time. <clears throat> I'm gonna, this is this is where I'm at right now. I'm wearing this shirt, so I'm gonna go do that. Oh, Katie's home. Okay, I'll see you later.